Previously on Crazy Ken. It was a bug, Ken. The raid, 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 dun dun dun! Greetings, Internet! Crazy Ken is back, and today you and I are gonna go through setting this thing up because we're now in part dose of the raid array, which is redundant, setup. <laughs> so it was a pretty seamless procedure. The raid was plug in, turn on, transfer the files, boom, done, super simple. Good job, Lassie. However, because we are using RAID 0, we have a lot higher probability of hard drive failure. If one disk has a problem, logical or physical, the whole RAID gets brought down with it. So, we need a backup. We're using this 8 terabyte Seagate expansion. Time for the unboxing. Here it is, in all of its glory. Very simple, a little bit of a textured look. And this bad boy is going to be our saving grace in case the RAID decides to screw up one day. This is a USB 3 7200 RPM 8 terabyte disk. So that'll be nice for a backup. Pretty uh, minimalistic design there. All right, let's bring it up to the office and see how it works. Now, now, don't be jealous of my crazy elaborate clean and organized cable setup. With practice, one day you'll achieve this level of cleanliness. Anywho. I'm going to put this somewhere. Now, the other drives are up there on the desk. The ones that are a lot less frequently used just kind of sit on the floor. I know it's not the greatest, but, you know, they're quieter down there and they've never overheated, so I'll buy it. So, let's see. Let's do power. That thick brick takes up three outlets, basically. So, not the smartest design. But again, uh, this is pretty cheap. I just realized I'm probably going to be out of USB ports. Yeah. I might have to put this actually up on the desk because I don't have any more hub space down here for this to plug into. Unless this can reach... Actually, this might be able to reach the other hub I have. So, I realized an inconvenient truth. That other USB hub that I have that has free ports on it is USB 2. That's going to be way too slow. So instead, I'm bringing the disk up here and I'll just plug it directly into the Mac whenever I need to run a RAID backup. So, we're gonna just plug the cable in right here. if I can find the frickin' port, then plug in power. All right, so it's a little messy, but I may tidy it up a little bit later, you know, if I feel like it, so probably not. Right, so considering the fact that when the laptop is open all the way, most of this is hidden, it doesn't look half bad. Even when it's visible, it's not that bad. So we have the RAID array, the field drive to take files off the RAID for portability purposes, and then the new black drive there is for backing up the RAID. The drive is plugged in now. We just gotta take care of some housekeeping. So let's head on over to our good friend, the disk utility. NTFS, yes, that is a problem. We will fix that right up. Let's see, erase. And now I gotta think of a new name for this one. Well, the current theme is Summer Wars characters. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to call it no, shoot, I, I should get it named before I sign it as a time machine drive. Wow, this is the trickiest task all night. What do I name the new frickin' hard drive? Uh, wow, I'm gonna have to think about this for a sec. When in doubt, consult the Summer Wars material book. I'll find a name in here. Four hours later, Taske. That is what we will do, and we will use macOS Extended Journal and Erase. Ding, patties are ready. Okay, we now have the backup drive formatted. Now the fun part. So, I have never assigned two Time Machine disks before, but from four seconds of elaborate Google research, I discovered it's very likely that you can have two simultaneous Time Machine backups running at once. So right now I have Oz, which is one of the bigger hard drives that's on the floor right now. This backs up the internal SSD and all of my other external hard disks. However, the RAID will throw it way over capacity, so I needed this new disk to back it up just by itself. So, let's see what we can do. Let's choose task A, use disk. Nice, if you use both, time machine will take turns. Okay, it'll take turns, hmm. Huh, I'm guessing that means I can't change my blacklist of what I don't want included. Huh. Okay, so this option may not work. However, with the purchase of this raid, we got a free backup utility. Let's maybe switch to that option, plan B. Okay, so on Lossie's website, we have Intego Backup Manager Pro Trial. Let's try that and download. Hope it works on High Sierra. I do have a product key for this, so hopefully I can just type it in. It'll be one, two, three, boom, done. 
All right, Intego, let's do a slow motion open for this. <sighs> Worth it. Cool, let's uh, type in our <laughs> product key. Okay, bam, it worked. Okay, I've never used this before. This is totally new. Uh, add a new backup task. Well, let's call this raid backup. What? How do you want to backup? Keep multiple versions of the files to save. Ugh. See, I'm gonna set that to manual. Advanced settings, okay, let's see. Form actions, I don't know what that is. Oh, there's actions, okay, abort, abort. How do I close, no. Oh, you click them and it does the thing, okay. All right, so what do you wanna back up? Cosma, where do you wanna back up? Tosuke. Multiple versions or carbon copy? Um. That's a good question. Um, I don't know if this works with Delta's kind of like how Time Machine does. Carbon copy. Let's just do a carbon copy. Let's see. There we go. Read back up. All right. That wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. Well, let's try it. Start now. Oh, I can already see my Half-Life 2 movie files going. Okay, sweet. Well, we're about 13 gigs in, so far so good, and little pie chart. I love pie charts. So, uh, it's nice when things work. That's not typical for this show. I'm usually pretty star-crossed. While this is going, how about we all relax, take a deep breath, and listen to the somewhat soothing sound of mechanical hard drives crunching away. Well, the backup is complete and all the files are there, and my computer has really been working overtime recently, so I think it deserves a break, just like all of us. But I'm calling this a win. Awesome raid product, awesome backup solution. Thanks for taking along with me, guys, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. <laughs>